Key Town Centre and the surrounding areas. Uh, we're also going to pop over to Paynton. It might be in this video, it might not be, depends how long this video goes on for. We've got so much to see. So like I said, uh, we're going to visit Paynton, Brixton, uh, there's Cockington, there's all sorts on the cards. So this video is all about Key Town Centre. But first of all, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the camera, the camera around, I'll show you the camera, show you just some of the uh, breathtaking views in here in Turkey. So these are just some of the uh, breathtaking views of Torquay and it's overlooking the, uh, the harbour. Uh, they've also got a, a ferris wheel which is, uh, is a new one for Torquay. What, uh, what magnificent views uh, these are. This is uh, quite a new one. Like I said, uh, you get right over the uh, harbour. It's looking at night time, the sun lights up, which is, uh, which is great. And uh, as I said before, the weather is completely miserable today. So like I said, this is, uh, goes right across the harbour. And you can see all the, uh, like the super yachts and uh, it's, a, it's a rich man's game down this neck of the woods. So yeah, this leads into uh, into the town, so it used to be like a Debenhams, and obviously that's gone now. And uh, many things you can see, you see on the left hand side, you got all the uh, nets for the trawlers. Uh, because Brixham is obviously famous for the, uh, for the fish. Uh, you can also get a ferry, it's called the Western Lady, I believe it's called. And you get that all the way from Torquay to, uh, to Brixham and uh, return. So you can see all the, uh, the nets. It looks like that one's uh, possibly going in or coming out. So this is uh, Torquay Marina. And uh, there's a little place here you can actually uh, purchase um, boats. And uh, I'll just show you a couple and see. 50,000, 150,000, and uh, yeah, it's a talking marina. Like I said, you can uh, go and strike yourself a deal and uh, grab yourself an amazing boat if you wanted to. So, right along here, excuse the, uh, the noise in the background. We've got a Debenham, so who remembers uh, Debenham, I would imagine everyone does. And after 243 years, um, the store finally closed, and it was actually May 2021. And, uh, yeah, so it's still got the, uh, the original signs uh, here. And so this is the, uh, the start of uh, Torquay Town. And uh, we're gonna have a, a bit of a look through you can see all the little quaint shops and quirky shops. And, uh, I was going to pan the camera around to the left because straight down there um, is, uh, is an arcade. And I think that's the only one in Torquay, so uh, it's nowhere big as Coral Island, but at least they've got a little, uh, little arcade to keep everyone uh, happy in the holidays. There's, uh, there's a few shops closed down, so it's not just uh, Blackpool. You see uh, the uh, Pasty Company. That's another one gone, looks like. And uh, it's certainly changed um, since the last time I was down. Yeah, I've not seen him anywhere. Yeah, again, they got the uh, 
new shops up and coming. Yeah, what a what a funny little place. Now you got all the uh, little sandwich shops and little things. And the uh, the buses they use in Torquay is stagecoach. I think one's just going past now. So that's the uh, the buses they're using Torquay. So yeah, we'll carry on. It will be more into town. So I'm just going to have a, a bit of walk through another box. This is, I believe, it's closed off to cars, possibly taxis maybe. Um, can, uh, can drive up here. You see a little uh, street food bank, aren't they? Oh, Thai. Look at that. The uh, Thai food. So yeah, this is a uh, Torquay town. And uh, it looks deserted at the moment. Absolutely deserted. Just a handful of people around. It is still early, it's about so half past nine, but all the shops are still closed. And uh, yeah, I'll have a bit of a walk in the at the middle. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's certainly changed. It's, you know, you got all the uh, the phone shops, 302 Vodafone. The uh, Primark, just on the uh, the right. So yeah, this is uh, this is Torquay Town. I believe this is U Union Street. I think this one's called. Might be completely wrong. Um, yeah, Torquay Town Centre. So we're just on Market Street, and the uh, NHS building was at Torbay South Devon Community Diagnostic Centre. This one stood, all here, used to be a Blockbusters. And every Friday night, we used to go down, grab the film, and uh, return to the little, uh, the little post box. And uh, how times have, uh, have changed. And just look at this building. So I suppose a couple of locals, I thought it was completely abandoned. And you can just see how like run down it looks. However, after speaking to the uh, the second um, gentleman, he said it belongs to Openreach, so and it's still in operation. So how about that? And just near the Openreach building, uh, I'm sure this used to be um, some sort of pub back in its day, but now it just looks a magnificent building. It just looks. I mean, uh, whether it's all closed down or, or in fact, no. There we go. It's uh, it looks for sale. So yeah, this used to be a pub back in its day and uh, I spent many an hour on a night out. So I'm not too sure what this building is now. So if you do know, let me know in the uh, in the comments. And this is Union Square Shopping Centre. And you see Wilco, uh, the signs on the board. And I believe it's still uh, one of the stores which has uh, come back to life. So we'll have a, a bit of a look. And it's undercover this one, which is uh, fantastic. Because the rain is still uh, still coming down. Let's see, we got the uh, the Greggs and all sorts. Yeah, so we're going to see if we can find this uh, this Wilco and see if it's still open. So yeah, I suppose yeah, somebody in uh, Pound Stretcher, and she's a bit of Wilco's. Is uh, no longer here, even though the sign is there. And just look at the amount of buildings. Well, that close the doors. And uh, people say about Blackpool, but yeah, certainly. Um, Torquay has um, it's certainly changed. So I just stopped for a little break, and uh, honestly, it's, it's heartbreaking to see. Uh, Torquay Town like this it's like one in every three shops that's closed down and it is derelict 
you know, they've got the game, you got all sorts of shops which used to be here. Oh, I've got all, all sorts. It's just uh, completely abandoned and uh, boarded up. Uh, Blackpool, yeah, I agree, you know, some of the back streets is, uh, is gone. But, and people, uh, people say about uh, Blackpool, we're literally talking, it's, uh, it's really shocking. Didn't get half of what's closed down, so it's, uh, it's really, really disappointing. Uh, you have got the fantastic views, um, and, and house prices are so expensive. A lot of people move when it's COVID just to get away, just because it's all working from home. But yeah, we'll like, move on a little bit further, but yeah, just uh, how disappointing is uh, this talky become? So I'm just continuing to uh, to walk a little bit further near the uh, the front and the big uh, big Ferris wheel. And uh, what about Torquay? What about Torquay Town? So what has happened? I mean, the views are absolutely out of this world um, in Torquay. There's not a, not a bad place um, you can go for the views, but the uh, the shopping and the town centre. What has happened? Everything. It's boarded up, so it's, it's certainly one of those. Um, Blackpool's got no competition in regards to uh, the shopping side and the atmosphere compared to Torquay. Really, uh, there's no comparison. Uh, but yeah, the views in Torquay are magnificent. So we're going to have a, a bit of a walk further and uh, just show you some of the uh, other amazing views uh, what Torquay has got to offer. And how about this one? So this one is just near the uh, the front. And you see the uh, little machine is busy away cutting the grass by itself. How uh, how unusual to have something like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, we're probably going to cut this one a little bit short um, of Torquay, but we've uh, we've seen quite a bit. And uh, this is just. Uh, the uh, the harbour and just see the uh, millions of pounds worth of boats. And you see just in the uh, in the distance, there's a bridge which runs right across, right across there. And you can see it goes all the way along. And I think that's where you get the uh, the Western Lady all the way to Brixham. And if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the uh, the like button, and uh, just look out for the uh, the next videos. Uh, we're going to do uh, painting. Brixham and uh, Cockington in this little uh, mini-series of uh, talking.